Hi, I'm Gabby. I am Andre. I'm Honoka. I'm Callie. And we are Kukala Dance Company. Hey everyone, this is Diamond Rivera and we are at the one and only Kukala Dance Company. I have here Gabby, Andre, and Callie. And right now we are at this amazing studio. First of all, guys, I have to say it is amazing to see this studio. We just finished the New York International Salsa Congress. How was that weekend? Yeah, this, uh, this year's Congress was a, a hell of a time. Um, congrats to uh, Louis and Vilma and the rest of the crew on um, 20th anniversary, as well as a great comeback uh, after lockdown and everyone wondering about whether or not live events would ever be a thing, because I know that that was a, a thing for a while. Will COVID be around forever, and will we ever be able to get together again? Now, the answer is an absolute yes, if you still weren't convinced yet. <laughs> It is now. So we had a blast. We had a vendor table this year. So we did a little more than we normally do. Um, first time at the Congress with our wonderful new name. And we had a good time. <laughs> I'm looking forward to next year. Um, I think for me, the difference this year is representing Kukala and having that name on my back completely. Um, so then I, it was great talking to people. It was great people coming by and being like, hey, we watched you perform, we loved it, taking photos with us. Like being at the booth gave us that, that opportunity to be there for everybody. And they, could, they knew where to find us and still talk to us. That gave us that chance. So that was great. It was great to watch the whole show. It was great having live music and so much and so intense. Um, yes. Absolutely. But What's interesting enough is that you guys, of course, being a new studio, a new company, great enough was that you had a vendor booth at the event with added promotion, I think, I think actually outputting almost over 600 flyers yes. to the yeah. dance community. Yeah. And, and now you guys are having your grand opening social event at the new studio in Long Island City this Saturday. So can you give me some details, give us some details on what's in store? You wanna go first? You can start us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so we, uh, for our grand opening week, so uh, we're doing free classes all week. So if you have not gotten wind of it yet, uh, you can check us out at kukaladance.com. The full schedule is right now currently the homepage, so it's the first thing you'll see when you pop up. Uh, so free classes all this week, a uh, mix of genres. Uh, we also have some hip hop coming this Saturday. So free classes Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, kids classes 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday. Uh, Sibo from Next Gen is coming out. Big shout to Sibo. We appreciate your help. Uh, he's coming out to do a adults and kids mix hip hop class on Saturday. And then Saturday night, uh, we have our social. Uh, social will start about 7 or 8 p.m. No cover, so bring everybody. Uh, and shows will be around 10.30. Um, we're super excited also for the kids program and the kids stuff that we're going to be bringing in. Um, we're going to be covering hip hop, salsa, ballet, jazz, a bunch of other um, kids' classes. Um, but we're really excited to get started with the hip hop that we will have um, this Saturday. I'm just super excited for people to see the space. So coming by even to say hi, if you're afraid to dance, and hopefully we'll get you in the room either way. Um, having to see just the, the dance space itself, but even like our waiting area, lounge area, um, creating the goal was to create a space for people to connect mm -hmm. and really mingle with each other. So we're really trying to go for that. Um, we still have a few details to, to do in the space, but we're ready to dance. So please come by, tell your friends, and let's do it. Absolutely. I mean, one thing I definitely have to share is that besides just a beautiful space was the understanding that you guys started this really from the ground up. This was an office space for clothing, yeah. and I've heard the stories of really building everything from the flooring, uh, from the different studio spaces that you have, whether it's private rooms, kids' rooms. Um, so really, lastly, helping people understand really that experience of what it took to actually build this studio from the ground up. Uh, a lot of work. Um, <laughs> It was interesting to learn a bunch of things that none of us really knew how to do before, like putting together a floor. Um, but it was, it's all that much more rewarding because we know that this is a place that we built ourselves. Um, but it's a lot of hard work. <laughs> it's a lot of hard work. Um, 
but we're really proud of what the finished product was and all the help that we got, not from just the other members of our team and all of us together as the founders, but also we had a couple students come by and help. We had family, we had friends, we had so many people come by and help us and really make this place what it is. So we're really grateful. Yeah, for sure. Uh, a lot of this that would happen that they came together because we have about 3,500 square feet of space in here, which is a lot more than we thought we would ever wind up with. <laughs> uh, but we got a good deal and we, we jumped on it. Uh, we would not have been able to pull it together without um, the help from friends and family. Like even uh, one of my childhood friends, he jumped in and because uh, he's an electrician and if anyone that needs electrical work, hey. you know that's not cheap. Um, so he did a lot of the work um, just out of his goodwill. Um, people like students from old and new popping in from time to time. I was getting random messages by email or, or um, through Instagram or social media saying, hey, you know, I have some free time this week. Is anybody going to be around? Can I drop in? And we were always like, yeah, because we were here every day. <laughs> trying to pull it all together so we thank all of you out there uh, and we're looking to grow our community uh, even beyond that so we appreciate you and uh, we appreciate uh, the opportunity to meet those of you that we have not met yet we welcome you absolutely yeah it yes yes for the hard work but I think um, like for example we were here like one day sticking like the floor parts together <laughs> and and some some of us were like okay I think that we will be saying this story forever. Mm -hmm. Like whoever comes on this floor will have to know that I put that part down there. Like you have to, you own the space in a different way, knowing each every corner of every wall and seeing where everything is. Also that makes you a little bit like um, very sensitive when you go to other places as well. You Absolutely. start seeing like ceilings and wall, you start like yeah. knocking and seeing <laughs> what kind of material this is. Mm -hmm. So it has get, gotten us, a, we're a little bit in, a, a lot of construction at this point, but I'm very excited to transition into the dancing because that's what we really know what how to do. <laughs> so, like we don't, we don't need a lot of like advice on that or like so much research. Like we've been doing a lot of teaching dance for a while, so I'm very excited to get to meet the people that will fill up the space. Absolutely. I mean, for me, just seeing the space, besides just the square footage that you guys have, but also the colors, they pop. For anyone that is coming to the studio. It's vibrant, but also it's hard work, and you see that, like, all of that hard work put into this place because many places in New York, they've kind of built just from a studio and renovated, but all of you have put the time in and the effort to create a new home and a home for your dance community. And I definitely encourage everyone here, you need to come to not only the grand opening this Saturday, but you need to be coming to classes here at Kukala Dance Company in Long Island City, New York, Guys, thank you so much for allowing me to come to the studio. I definitely can't, come, can't wait to come back in the future. And everyone, you should too. Guys, we'll see you soon.